that's the first thing. The second question I have for you is, is there a responsibility and a commitment to player development? So some of you guys, for example, might be varsity high school coaches. Some of you might be a junior coach. Is that the destination point? In other words, is, is that the end game? Or is there a responsibility and obligation for you guys to continue to work and improve the development of the individual on your team? And I hope to provide an argument that there is. Um, the next thing, and this is where the intellectual side of it's going to come in a little bit, is I want to discuss the science of skill acquisition and how learning takes place. Because I don't think there's enough of this that goes on in, in what we do. Because in essence, coaches are teachers, right? So the best teachers are teachers that apply strategies that leverage uh, knowledge on how people learn. So if we're going to be good coaches and we're going to be good teachers, it might make sense to st step back a little bit and have a discussion on, well, how do kids learn? How does skill acquisition actually take place? And if we have a, a basic understanding of that, now we can say to ourselves, okay, what's the best approach here? What kind of a strategy or a coaching methodology can I apply that will leverage what I know as far as how people learn? Okay, so that's the kind of the road I want to go down today a little bit, is just, the, just kind of a, 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 a basic rudimentary understanding of the science of skill acquisition, okay?